When you're running a live show, wrangling your guests is some of the most time consuming jobs you have. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to can save yourself a ton of time, make it really simple and actionable. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Heimann with AskEvie.com and I'm a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to make business fun and exciting again, go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to make your life easier. And today we are talking about guest submission forms. And not just forms, but really making your life easy. So. Before I even had my own live show, I was and still am guest on a lot of shows. There's nothing more draining as a guest that doesn't even want you to get on the show when it's like, oh, I forgot to ask you for that. Oh, and I still need that. And oh, I still need that. And there is nothing more embarrassing of being a show producer, no matter if it's a summit, a live show or whatever it is, and not having your shit together or forget deadlines and timelines. And suddenly you realize you forgot to follow up with your speaker. You didn't get this. You did. We don't want this chaos. We want simple, easy and actionable. So let me show you how I handle speaker submissions on my live show and make them actionable, easy going, automated even. And if you are running a live show, stay tuned till the end because I'm bringing you something by the end of the month that is going to make your life even more easier than what I'm showing you now. Now let's go over to my ClickUp. As you can see right here, we have our content creation folder in the marketing space and I have an incoming list. This incoming list is first off automated for YouTube videos. So YouTube videos get pumped in right in here for me to make decisions, but that's a whole nother video. This incoming list is also connected to a guest submission form. Now what that means is this incoming list is a dump all of everything that comes in pertaining to my content creation. In this case, we really just want to focus on my live shows and the guest submission. Now looking at the form for guest submissions, as you can see, it's built out already ready to go for you. Little intro, little saying why I actually need or why I'm asking. I don't need it, but I'm asking for a mailing address, first name, last name, the email address, the company name I chose for me. And you should do that right down here. The proposed show title as the task name. So if you do not assign any of those fields as a task name, your task is going to come in just with a timestamp. That's it. And then we are going through here with the description, the speaker bio, and if freebies they might want to give away, are they associated with the tool? Because I talk a lot about tools. I don't want them to just come in as a sales pitch, but I want to pitch them. They are my guests. I will market them. But again, I don't want to have them come in and be like, oh, you need to have this and you need to buy this. Not what my show is about. I will be pitching you, but I need to know your association so we can disclose all of that. Is there a no go? Is there something you most certainly don't want to talk about? You need to ask your guests that. What's your social media links? I made this just as a text field. It's one of those text boxes, the long ones, simply because I didn't want to list them all up. The mailing address, is there anything else we should know? Now, there's enough videos out there how to build these forms. I think I actually have one too, maybe not. Now that this is built out for you, there is multiple things happening in here and I'm going to show you how we automate this. Building this form is just like building it anywhere else. But now the magic happens. As you see, we made it full on in branding colors. There is a template associated with this. You will see what happens here in a second, as well as assigning the task to me and where we're linking this. It's all going into incoming. Cool. Now, I already grabbed the link for you guys. Let's jump over on the guest submission. This is how this looks like once everything is done. Cool. So first name, I'm actually going to type this one in as needed. We'll just use test in here and I'm going to show you why it is so important. Website is askab.com. I just cleaned up my download. So let's take that screenshot proposed show title. Now what's going to happen is we're going to call this proposed show title. 
just for the fun of it. And we just plug in some test content. As you can see, there is no red star back here. So those are not required. I only require the ones on top and we are submitting this. Now, while this is submitting, when we head back here and we go into the list, first of all, you're gonna see all of your results in here. But the fanciness that's happening is, look at this. This is why I did the proposed show title as the task name. Now, when my guests are submitting their proposed show title, it comes right in here. The task is assigned to me because in the guest submission form, I said, assign this task to me. Now, the assignee happens straight up through the submission form. We got that. But what's also happening through the guest submission form is it uses a template right here. And what that template does is, first off, if we scroll down, it applies this tag, this custom field change, which is a drop down from content type. It adds the guest show in there. I cannot do an automation that says everything that's coming in and into incoming, do that as a guest show custom field because I have other things coming in here. So the task template itself has this drop down menu chosen for guest show. That's it. And it has the guest prep subtask in there with the, uh, let's scroll down here, reviewing the submission. We need to do that. We need to make sure everything is fine and choose the date and schedule the guest. Cool. So that gets applied the moment a submission comes in. To repeat this, when a submission comes in through that specific form, a task template gets applied that chooses the content type and sets it to guest show. And that sets the subtask guest prep in there. Now the template in itself already has a due date and it had the due date of the first and the subtask of the first two. Actually, I did it for today. The main task was set for today due and the subtask was again also set for today due. And now we are doing more of the magic. This all comes in. And remember, we are changing the content type to guest show. Now what happens with the automation right here, only in the income list, not in the folder, not in the space. This is only in the income list and you will only find the automation in list view. So if you're not finding it, you need to go into list view. Now, what is that automation that's happening right here? Again, to follow up, a guest submits the form, the task template gets applied and that task template changes the task to do today. The subtask to do today applies the subtask as well as changes the custom field to guest show. And that exactly is our trigger. When a task is created and if this is true, meaning the custom field is equal to content type and guest show. This is what you need for it to only trigger when that field is a guest show. Then we are changing the due date to two days after it's triggered. What does that mean? When you apply a template, subtasks don't automatically change their due date. Now, what does that do? That means when the task comes in, I don't have to look at it. I don't have to remember, oh, I need to do that. It takes it and changes the due date to in two days so that I get pinged by ClickUp to tell me, hey, by the way, you still need to follow up with that guest and you need to email them and you get to get them scheduled. Don't forget about that. You don't have to touch it. You don't have to assign anybody. You don't have to set a due date. You don't have to do nothing for you. Let's repeat this so you really understand the full on workflow. You have somebody submits the form for your application to be on your live show. That form triggers a task in the incoming list that then applies the new guest submission task template, which assigns the task custom field of guest show and sets the subtask in there. Cool. Then the automation triggers only when this custom field is guest show and sets the due date in two days. So it's straight in your system and you can take care of that. I know this is quite a lot. And if you want that and not want to deal with it, head on over to the Academy. I'm going to have the template right there for you, but even better. Do you want to run your live show this automated and easy and hands off as much as possible? 
then you should join us for Streamline Your Live Stream on January 25th to the 29th, where I'm going to show you the full on workflow start to finish on how to run a streamlined live show. I hope to see you there. You still here? You still around? Hmm. You subscribed yet? You haven't? You made it till the end. That means you did get something out of it and you had at least fun, right? Go hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. So no, that's Facebook, YouTube, bell. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video.